Thank God for a beautiful Monday like this. I hope you had a great weekend and a lot of the things you were looking forward to doing, you were able to do them. But of course, you're welcome to Let's Talk Showbiz here on the Joy News channel. My name is Doreen Avio. And today, of course, there's so much to discuss here on the show. I just want you to sit back, relax, as I tell you more about everything in your world of showbiz. If you're just joining me, this is Let's Talk Showbiz, and I'm so excited to tell you about something that is coming up by the end of this month. We are in a new month, and of course, Fifi Coleman is an actor, he's a producer, he is a director, but finally, he has actually introduced us to his newest baby, which is a stage play. He's been doing it for some time now, but of course, this was an opportunity to let the media know how serious he's taking it and where he's going with it. So, he's actually launched a play, should I say, it's something you've probably read about, The Dilemma of a Ghost by uh, Professor, or should I say Professor Ama Ata Edu, that's the late prof. And this play, he's looking forward to bringing certain people that you probably haven't seen on stage in a very long time. And I'm talking about Brew Riverson Jr., Nasha Kwe is in there, our own Ros Rosalind Feli from Joy Prime is on there as well. We have Fifi Coleman himself, veteran actor Fred Amogi. I mean, there are so many of them, Edina Matachi, so many of them. And he's looking forward to staging this play on the 29th of July. But the icing on the cake is that the proceeds from this play will go straight to Prof's um, foundation. That's uh, Professor Ama Ata Edu's foundation. And as usual, our cameras were there. My colleague Ivy was there. And he has been speaking to some of the cast for the upcoming play. I imagine the idea of bringing the the black actually because she's black Yulele is black but because she's an offspring of the wayfarer at the time the wayfarer is like a slave you know they took us there they went to do whatever it is that you bring a child uh, from slavery back to her land of origin to come and marry first thing I always say that why were there no, were there no women in <laughs> in Ghana did you have to bring somebody from there to come through here but then when she's here now and 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 then they they're going through it so you know the story very well do you want to tell us the synopsis of the of the play no 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 you should you should do that the, the <laughs> sort of the um, did i capture it right this is sort of the story of the play and it helps us understand the challenges that some of our people who are on the other side how they feel the struggles they have, and it also allows them to see how we feel on the other side when they sort of come back home and it's a, it's a dilemma. <laughs> yeah, and I particularly appreciate the strong cultural messages in the play, as well as a bit of humor. And if you look at the cast that Fifi Coleman has lined up, you would you would see and appreciate that this play is probably going to be, it's probably the most star-studded we have seen in recent times. And the level of professionalism which I see coming to this production will make it one of the best we've seen in recent times. It's about the quality of uh, actors Fifi is putting on stage. Um, when I heard of the kind of people he was putting on, I just said to myself, woo, this will take me back to probably, what, uh, 15 years ago, back in school, uh, the likes of Ajitia Annan and co, and you know the kind of quality that they are. <laughs> the kind of quality that uh, these uh, people bring on stage, you should expect nothing but the best. Uh, everything definitely is going to be world class i won't limit it to just ghana because definitely it's going to be a top-notch play one of the best we'll see throughout the year and we will nev never stop talking about it and i know after this people will call for it again and we'll give it to you again earlier i realized i've been stage rusty because it's been so many years going on to the stage but with dalima of a ghost I'm telling you, you see a different Fred Amogi on the stage again. Thank you. It's really in, in her honor. And it, we, 
we just want to put it out there so you know it's not one of those like productions like oh or, you know pockets by snow this is like that's what we're doing for her it's unfortunate that we are doing it while she's gone now this begs that we have so many Ghanaian writers who are out there you know profs have written great plays that are out there that we start producing it for ourselves and enjoying it now whilst they live so they can actually come and watch it so we don't wait till they are gone and then we do memorial plays for them this, I hope, will be the last time we're doing something of the sort so that we can actually do plays to celebrate these people whilst they live. Prof, um, thank you very much for your good book like Dalama, Anoa, you no, know, Weeping Here, uh, Prof's books. Oh, okay, lots of them. <laughs>